Hey, this is Dara, as in I dare you to speak up with confidence and be more impactful and influential when speaking in front of an audience. And today's tip, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Let's do this. Okay, let's jump right in. I have three tips for you, and I want to make this a very powerful right to the message because I don't like to mince words or waste your time. So if you are someone who wants to be more impactful when you speak in front of others, be remembered, make sure your message is remembered, have people really be influenced by you. The number one thing I need you to do is to know your message and believe in it. I work with a lot of people who, like you, are very dynamic. You have so many skills. You can probably teach classes on five different topics but I want you to pick one and be very specific on that message, know it well, and believe in it. Look, there was just a woman I was talking to about an hour ago who was telling me she's a coach and she was concerned that she doesn't know enough in her work, that there's other people who are more qualified, better, bigger and more impressive credentials, other experts, and she didn't feel comfortable really putting herself out there and so it hesitates when she speaks because she doesn't speak with that conviction and that confidence. You are an expert on what you do. You know something, you know it well, you know your message well. So believe in it and speak with that confidence. It comes across in how you speak. Now, if you're brand new and you're starting and this is the first year of your business or your new book or a new idea and you really don't have the experience yet, that's okay. You're building on the experience. But if you have been doing what you've been doing for a while and you feel qualified and you're ready and you've been working with other people, then believe in the work you're doing. Believe in how you serve others and let that compassion and that passion come through because people will gravitate to those who are confident. Confident in how you speak, confident in how you look, confident in how you talk about what you do. Nobody will buy anything from a person who's like, uh, you know, uh, I have this item and it's it's good, but you probably don't want to waste your money. You don't need it. Look, when you are talking about what you do, remember the reason why you do what you do and let that energy and that passion and that enthusiasm come through in your voice and certainly in your message. So tip number one is to know your message and express the passion that comes with it because people will believe in you and your message when you convey that passion with it. Okay, tip number two, after you have identified the message is to connect it with a specific audience. Look, you're not going to please everybody. Don't tell me that anybody can be a customer or client of yours because that's not true. I was so nervous when I first began my speaking business because I had a very broad message. I wanted to be able to accommodate everybody. And that really hurt me in the end. And in your business, that will hurt you too. Be specific. What is the age demographic, the gender, the type of person? Where do they work? How much money do they make? You can be the expert in a small group of people and still be very successful if you're speaking to that group of people. If what you're saying is so general that it applies to everybody, you're gonna get lost in the mix. So when we think about speaking for impact and being a really powerful influencer or a leader, choose the demographic that you're serving wisely, know the audience, know what their struggles are. I know the people that I'm speaking to right now on the other end of this call, maybe get a little nervous speaking in public, have a little bit of fear or maybe shyness around it. I know what your concerns are because I've worked with enough clients and I've asked you over and over again. So I need you to talk to your audience, talk to your future customers, talk to the people you're speaking with to find out what are their struggles. When you know your audience, you become a better speaker doesn't matter if you're speaking to one or a thousand and one. When you understand the person's needs that you're speaking to, it'll change the message you're sharing and give you that confidence to speak directly to that person. Okay, before I get to tip three, this is a good time to remind you to smash that subscribe button and go ahead and download my other 
free videos that are here and available to you. And then if you want to work further, make sure you click below where it says Dara Connolly Club. I'm so excited to tell you about this exclusive club. Never seen before videos with expert coaches around the world that you can access at a phenomenally low price. So Dara Connolly Club, do not miss it. Okay. Moving on to tip number three on how to speak with impact. And again, when I say this, I mean, you could be speaking to one or a literally on a stage to a thousand and one. But a lot of people miss this. And tip three is to show vulnerability to show strength. What do I mean by that? Sometimes people have a very sensitive story or have been through some trauma or real vulnerable part of their life that they're not comfortable sharing on stage. But I'm here to challenge you to go into that vulnerability just a little bit. You don't have to let it all out. We don't want to know all the details. Just a little bit to connect to us. Remember, everything is about connection. And when you become vulnerable, you are showing your strength. You're showing you're not afraid to tell that story that's sensitive to you, or you're not scared of people judging you, or you're not worried if you're going to offend someone, you're taking the risk first. And people who take a risk first and put themselves out there and go outside that comfort zone a little bit that most of us don't like to go to are not only trailblazers and leaders, but they're bringing the person with them because they're saying, I get you. So let me give you an example. I think things are always easier with an example. I was very shy and we've all heard a lot of people say, oh, I was shy, but I was really shy. I used to go to the doctor when I was little because they told me I didn't talk. Uh, kids used to tease me in middle school that I was mute and I never raised my hand from preschool through college, not once. <laughs> That's pretty bad. I didn't like talking in public, was not comfortable speaking socially. I felt really awkward about it. That's a vulnerable story. I don't necessarily want that on a billboard. I had a long time trying to decide, should I share that with the world or not? But you get the picture of who I am and who I was and who I had to overcome to become a speaker. That's it. I don't need to get into some big dramatic parts of my life. And you don't either. You pick the parts of your story, the most compelling, draws a picture we can understand who you are without giving it all away. I mean, we don't want to break down. We're not going to start crying. We're not going to make the uh, other person listening feel uncomfortable. Just a little taste of who you were so we can relate to it. Because when we relate to you, we like you. When we like you, we want to do more things with you, listen to you, read your book or buy your programs. And when we get connected to you through who you are, we realize the strength and how scary that must have been to share that small detail about yourself. So a little bit of vulnerability to give strength, to show strength. That's important. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of owning who you are, what you went through, or the experience you had. If it's something raw and you're still going through it and you're still in the middle of it, especially if it's trauma or something really horrible, then it is not time to share it. Please give us time. You, you take care of you. And if it becomes a point where you're comfortable talking about it, then that would be okay to maybe explore it a little bit. But if you're still in the middle of it, and if you mention certain things, it makes you flustered or you, you can't get through it, then it's not time. This is important to hear. So the, these are just three tips. I have so much more I can teach you guys on this topic of how to speak with impact, be more impactful in front of an audience. Remember, everything comes down to how you speak, not so much what you say, but how you say it. And I'm here for you. If you want to take your message to the stage, maybe even get on TEDx or reach a bigger audience because you have a voice, you have a mission, you have a purpose in this world. And there's no reason to hold it in and stay small. Use that voice and get on more stages. Click below to contact me or begin accessing my expert videos in the Dara Conley Club. And I can't wait to tell you more. There's so much more I could tell you on this topic. In fact, stay tuned for the next video that pops up and be sure to watch it. And I'll look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, you are amazing.